Three female soccer players are suing Butler University and they accuse a former athletic trainer of sexually abusing them repeatedly. They also say the university failed to have policies in place that could have prevented the abuse. Fox 59's Max Lewis spoke with the victim's attorney who says there are likely more victims out there. The unnamed soccer players each filed their own lawsuit in federal court today under the aliases Jane Doe 1, 2, and 3, accusing former athletic trainer Michael Howell, seen here in a picture provided by the Butler Collegian, of sexual assault. The suits say he would repeatedly rub his erect penis against female players and grope their vaginal and breast areas while performing what he called therapeutic massages. Was improperly touching them and sexually abusing them. Uh, in his private hotel room, in training facilities, at away games, and in various other circumstances. The victims also say Howell secretly took pictures and videos of them. Aside from the physical abuse, the suits allege Howell also threatened and blackmailed the victims into staying silent. Howell was grooming these athletes in order to be able to sexually assault him. The abuse allegations were reported in September 2021 and Howell was placed on leave. According to the lawsuit, the Title IX investigation found that he did abuse his authority to sexually assault the athletes. He was fired in June of last year and the victim's attorney says his clients want to make sure what happened to them doesn't happen to anyone else. But these athletes also want to make sure that given the terms of how Howell might have been terminated, that people know about it, future employers know about it, new protocols be instituted so that no athletes will be treated like this in the future. Attorney Doug Fearberg says Butler has told his clients that protocols are in place but has failed to provide specifics. In a statement, the university said it, quote, looks forward to the opportunity to show the high integrity and responsiveness of the coaches and senior personnel. Howell was employed by the university for nearly a decade and Fearberg says he believes there are many more victims. It's important uh, to these athletes that other athletes and other people are protected and that athletes prior to them know about these circumstances so that they're not suffering alone. The suit also seeks compensation for quote injuries and damages but does not target a specific dollar amount. In Indianapolis, Max Lewis, Fox 59 News.